Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast. And we're going to jump in with more of the mill deck since that seems to be the Brokat's favorite out there. And here we go. First opponent is DK Drums, who uses fighting types against our colorless Bunnelby deck. So let's see who ends up going first. Real quick, I'm one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast, found right here on YouTube every single Sunday at noon Eastern Time. If you subscribe by clicking on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right-hand corner of the screen, that will get you the podcast every single week. And it'll also get you more of these Let's Plays, as well as the unboxings that we do every now and again, covering comics, movies, TV, video games, and more. So let's see if they end up uh, going first. We just had the Autumn Regionals uh, go through, and we saw a lot of really good decks, and that, that was a very quick victory. <laughs> just an activity on their end. So let's see if we can get a more interesting game going. All right, here we go. Give it another shot here. Next one is Poke Sakuru, who uses Psychic and Colorless types. So let's see if it ends up working this time. <laughs> there it is. And we will let them go first. We have no basics twice. And there it is. And let's see if they end up drawing some extra cards, and looks like they will. They've got a Zubat they're working on. So let's see, we've got Psychic, they've got Colorless. I wonder what other kind of deck we're, we're going to be facing here. We see Bats a lot. It's very common right now. They can take down damages, take down damage on any one of the Pokemon on your side, just by evolving into Golbat, into Crobat. And that's exactly what they'll be doing next turn. There's a trainer's mail, so they're bringing down their deck, winding it down. Only to 42. All right. Here's what I wanted, some energy cards. Let's feed the Bunnelby. And let's see what we can discard there. Maybe it's a Crobat. Nope, just a Wobbuffet. And we've got a trainer's mail. Hmm. Let's go with the... I guess the Lucky Helmet. That'll let us get some more cards, hopefully. All right, there we go. We got rid of a Tierno, and let's see what the next one will be. Uh, looks like a Muscle Band. They're gonna go ahead and try to use Roller Skates. Let's see if they get it, and they do. That's another three cards for them. We're gonna put down the Zubat, and they'll probably do the another. Oh shit! <laughs> that might be it. Let's see the. Golbat has two damage counters, so two four. When they evolve two, that already be forty damage on the on the uh, Bunnelby. So there's one, there's 20, there's another 20 coming on to the Bunnelby, bringing it down to 20 hit points. And we'll pretty much only have one turn left if we don't make it through here. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. They're gonna get a Wobbuffet. Let's see what the as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon in play, in each hand, and each player's discard pile has no abilities. So it doesn't really affect us, but they're going to do 50 damage and the knockout for our final Pokemon. That's one of the problems with this deck, is I only have four Pokemon in the entire thing, and they're all Bunnelbees. And uh, when you only have the one out there, and you can't get any more in your bench or in your hand, that's basically game, so... A lot of quicker matches when things go that way. But the next opponent is Curly underscore Jefferson, who uses leaf, grass, water, all kinds of types. And we will not go first. They've got one of the World Championship sleeves, which are pretty cool. We start off with a Bundle B right away. We've also got a Level Ball, which will help us get another one. And hopefully not run into the same situation that we had last game. They're going to put down a Combi. And they're going to go with an Acro Bike, which is going to get more Pokemon in their discard pile. So they should go through their deck relatively quickly, which could help us out as we try to discard more and more cards from their deck. So there's another Combi they're going to be getting. And once again, there's another Acro Bike, bringing them down to 40. They're going to discard and draw 7 down to 33 in their deck. 
So there's where we see the evolutions right away. There's a Vespi Queen. This attack does 10 more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. And they've got a double colorless energy already on it. Let's go ahead and thin, thin down our deck with some energies. Let's feed the Bunnelby. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do Roller Skate, see if we get it. And we do. We draw up three. We've got a Lucky Helmet we'll put on Bunnelby. Let's get another one. So we do have three others in the deck, one of which is going right into our hand and on the bench. Trainer's Mail. What else can we get out of this? Uh, ooh, Enhanced Hammer. Let's go ahead and get that. And we'll use it against the Vespi Queen. There it goes. And now we can start discarding. So we discard a Level Ball from their deck. And the next one will be... A, uh, another Stadium card, which would have worked out, but that's fine. They're going to use Battle Compressor. They're going to feed their Unknown. Uh, so that will be more cards that they're going to be discarding. All they need is a Switch, and they can pull out the best between, although they still haven't fed it, so they're not powered up on that end. And they will switch on over to the other Combi. And it's our turn. All right. So let's go ahead and feed the Bunnelby down here and start discarding. First one being uh, another Vespi Queen, which is great. And the next card will be uh, another Battle Compressor. Bringing them down to 23 cards in their deck. There's a Double Colorless Energy. If we see a Vespi Queen out here, which there it is, there's an Ultra Ball. They're going to find one. They will do the B Revenge attack, which will knock out our Bunnelby for quite a bit of damage. So they're going to get 7 more cards, brings them down to 15 in their deck with the Muscle Band on there, 140 damage onto the Bundle B. Alright, so we're going to try to do the Crushing Hammer, see if it works. And it does. There goes that. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Lucky Helmet on the Bundle B. Let's draw 3, hope for another one. Now, we do get a Revive out of it. And uh, there it is. Another Trick Helmet, or I'm sorry, a Trick Shovel, which gets rid of their Trainer Mail. We'll feed the Bunnelby down here. I'll save the Versus Seekers for now. We'll go ahead and take some more, see so what we get rid of. We get rid of another Vespi Queen. And it looks like uh, an Eevee. Alright, so they're going to feed the Vespi Queen, which is going to do 10 damage. You may draw cards until you have 6 in your hand. That's not going to do anything. There it is. Uh, wow. <laughs> 160 damage onto the Bundle Beast. We got two more in our deck. Let's try for the Crushing Hammer again. And it does work. There goes that. Let's revive up the Bundle Bee right back since we don't have anything else in our bench. We'll feed that same one. And we will... Let's go ahead and Versus Seeker for a Tierno. Draw up three. Try to build up our bench. There's a Trick Shovel. We got rid of their... Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got rid of the... Double colorless energy, I'll save the other Versus Seeker, let's dig some more. We got rid of a Battle Compressor, another one, and an Eevee. So they're down to 7 cards in their deck. We're down to 26. There's an energy they're going to put down on Vespi Queen. And hopefully that's all they have. Yep, they're going to do 30 damage onto the Bundle Beep. And we'll discard that one energy. Let's try for another Crushing Hammer, see if it works. And it does, perfect. <laughs> Getting really lucky with these flips. Let's draw up 3 more. Save the Versus Seekers once again. He says, wow. <laughs> and they uh, end up conceding the match. He did not like all the heads. <laughs> There's a tournament ticket and a coin. All right, very cool. And what do we get this time? 50 coins. We got that high on the versus rewards ladder. Working a little bit more towards the tournament tickets, which we have four of right now. And it looks like we do have time for another game here. Let's jump into one more, and then we'll open up some booster packs. Of course, if this goes really quickly, we can jump into yet another one. Our next opponent is Adriano Dribas, who uses Grass type. Looks like Tails. We will not go first. We'll let them have it. And there's a Bundle Bee right there on our second try. But we do have a level ball right here, which will really help us out. And they have a chest pin right now. We've got a crushing hammer. We've got some a trainer's mail. In case I don't like my hand, I could always Professor Birch. The Pokemon Fan Club is going to help us out, which they just used themselves. 
to get a hair across. Really cool card. Let's take a look at it. Guard Press does 40 damage your opponent's next turn. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. The Giga Power. You may do 40 more damage if you do this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. And they're going to feed that same hair across with a double colorless energy, which we will hopefully try to get rid of uh, with the Crushing Hammer. All right, let's try to go for it. Crushing Hammer. No heads this time. So let's Trick Shovel the opponent. We'll get rid of a Grass Energy. Awesome. Trainer's Mail. Or I could go with Level Ball. Let's go with Level Ball. There's a Bundle B right there. Let's put him down. Trainer's Mail. Roller Skates. Let's try to get that heads. And it works. Three more cards. Lucky Helmet. There's an Energy, which I really needed. Level Ball. Another bundle be our last one in our deck. It's going to have to last. And uh, let's go ahead and Professor Birch. We get a head. We get seven more cards. Versus Seeker, I'll save it. And let's go ahead and start digging. So we get uh, rid of one Grass Energy. And the next one will be a level ball for them as well. So the good news is we do have a Team Flare Grunt, which will get rid of that energy if they end up pulling him out next with a switch, I'm assuming, is what they have next. Let's see, they've got the Forest of Giant Plants, which will let their chessmen evolve. There's the Lysander, drag out one of our other Bundle Bees, and that'll do it. Okay. So they might be saving themselves a little bit of time. What can I use? I will save that Versus Seeker, I think. Let's go ahead and dig some more. We got rid of uh, Level Ball and uh, Roller Skates. They're down to 34, we're down to 34, so even on the deck side, but hopefully they end up drawing up more as we try to bring them down to zero. There's a Lysander, they're going to try to bring out the other Bundle B, but I've got an energy ready for him. There we go, we've got a Lucky Helmet, and we're going to dig. We got rid of another Roller Skates on their end, hopefully an energy next. And nope, Team Flare Grunt, that works too, because we definitely did not have any energies left. So there's the evolution for Koyadin. Flip a coin of heads prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Wooden effect us. The wood hammer does 70 damage and the Pokemon does 10 to itself. They're going to take out a chessman from their deck. Uh, two of them, it looks like, with Pokemon Fan Club. Fill up their bench entirely and that's all they'll do. Alright, so we're going to... Actually, we're good on energy, so let's cancel that. And just get rid of two cards. Top two cards. One of them is an energy card, which it looks like they need it because they haven't attached and then a Professor Sycamore. So there's another evolution, and that'll do it for them. That's Trainer's Mail. What can we get? Uh, let's do... Actually, let's do Professor's Letter. Let's try to get some more energies here out of our deck. Now we've got three in case we need to revive up any of these Bundle Bees, which I don't see happening quite yet. We're going to get rid of another energy and a Tierno on there. end. And they end up Mega Evolving into the Mega Heracross right there. Big Bang Horn. This attack does 180 damage, minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Alright, so let's go ahead and <laughs> just keep discarding. So another Energy is gone, and a Lysander, which wouldn't have helped them any. And they pass. So nothing else. Let's keep doing this. We're down to 26, and after this turn, they are down to 18. They're going to draw, they're down to 17. So we just got rid of a double colorless energy, which is huge. And they end up passing. That's all they can do. They can't do anything else. So we're going to dig. They end up conceding the match. <laughs> and we're up 25 coins. All right, let's head on over to our collection and open up some booster packs right after we go a little bit higher on the versus rewards ladder. All right, there it is. So I do have some Ancient Origins booster packs. I think I have a mix of other stuff, too, just from playing in the tournaments. So let's see here. Yep, I have an X and Y series booster, two of them, actually. So let's open that one up. Oh, there's a new one. There's a different version of Bunnelby. We've got a Herdier, also brand new. We've got Roller Skates, two rare cards. Ends up being a Reverse Hollow Taurus. And a Micargo. Alright, let's open up another booster. 
straight out of X and Y, the first set from this new uh, generation of Pokemon. So there's, of course, uh, yeah, Corsola with Reverse Hollow uh, Uncommon right there. And the other one will be, oh, look at that, Venusaur EX. One of my favorite Pokemon, actually my favorite Pokemon of all time is Bulbasaur, but the evolutions are so cool. Venusaur EX is absolutely amazing. I love this card. The full art one is absolutely gorgeous too, but this is absolutely cool. And it looks looks really cool. Uh, poison Powder, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned for 60 damage, and the Jungle Hammer does 90. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Love, love, love Venusaur. All right, let's head on over to uh, Phantom Forces next, since we do have that. We've also got a Primal Clash that we can open up. This one will only be five cards. And we got one rare there, and it looks like a Yon Mega. Let's head on over to Primal Clash. Oh, we got Roaring Skies as well. Let's see, nothing new yet. We got a rare candy, which is always very, very useful, so that gives us four in our collection. Uh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Nose Pass, and a Tentacruel. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned from Dancing Tentacles, and those are uh, Stick and Absorb, does 30 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Alright, Roaring Skies is next. Alright, what do we have here? Yeah, nothing new. We've got another revive. Very cool. So how many does that give us? Uh, let's see here. So we've got ten of them. We've got a Meowth, Reverse Hollow, and a Bannet. Each Pokemon tool in play has no effect. Alright, now we can get into Ancient Origins. There's a brand new set coming out very soon, by the way, Brocats. It's called XY Breakthrough. Brings back that mechanic where you can use attacks from the previous stage from Pokemon level X's from years back. Except this time they're, I think they're just regular EX's or breakthrough EX's. They look really cool. You put the card horizontally over the artwork of the Pokemon. Uh, here's a reverse hollow combi. We've got another lucky helmet. And a Gudra. Let's open up two more. All right, and here we go. Oh, look at that, Flareon. Uh, Flare effect, each of your stage one Pokemon in play is now a fire type in addition to its existing types. Heat Breath does 60 damage, triple point of heads, it does 20 more damage for a total of 80. Beautiful, beautiful card. And the other rare is the Vespi Queen, not the one that people use, but still cool nonetheless. One more booster pack. Uh, two special energies here. Is there a difference? No, they're just... Oh yeah, this one's reverse hollow, it looks like. And the other one's probably a regular... Yeah. Alright, very cool. And the last one... <laughs> oh man! Full Art Sceptile EX. Slip, sleep Poison does 10 damage. Triple Point of Heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. Unseen Claw, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 70 more damage. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Wow, and it's just an absolutely cool looking card. Sceptile EX, full art, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very cool, awesome addition to the collection. And uh, that will do it for our pack openings and the Let's Play for today, Brokettes. Do want to remind you to click on the Recent Time Broke logo at the top right hand corner of the screen to subscribe and check out the rest of our shows on nerdupmedia.com. While you're there, you can follow us on the Reasons I'm Broke Twitter and Facebook page. Just click on the Reasons I'm Broke, and it'll show you all the links where you can find us. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.